Hello everyone, we're going to be working on Royal Processional today. Um, and first thing I'd like to do is just take a look. Um, you'll see with the music printout that you got that you have a rhythm study. I'd like to just run through that real quick. It'll help us learn some things that we need to for our bow. Um, I'm always getting ahead of myself. Let's tune first. Here's A. D. G. Don't turn it too high as violas and cellos. Here's E. And don't tune that too high bass. Okay. Um, first thing, rhythm studies. Um, we should have talked about this sometime before. However, not everyone thought this exercise was important when we did it. We're going to go down, wiggle, up, wiggle, down, wiggle, up, wiggle. That's not exactly what it said in the rhythm study. Um, let's do what it says in the rhythm study. Shadow bow. One, two, three. Ready and down, up, down, up, down, wiggle, slow bow, down, up, slow, down, slow, up, down, up, down, wiggle, up, wiggle, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, wiggle, wiggle, up, down, wiggle, up, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, that should be basically all that you're doing right there on number one. I'm not going to worry about number two right now because that uh, rhythm will be appearing later. However, let's do this on now on the D string. One, two, ready, and... much more to worry about for right now. Today's video will be covering uh, Royal Processional measures 1 through 30 um, and we'll kind of redo the last two measures of that as well in the next video uh, for Royal Processional. But right now I wanted first to warn everyone and say we're using two, okay? Every C that we have, every F that we have is gonna be a two. So for violins and violas that's a low two. For cello, that's two instead of three. And for bass, that means two instead of four. Okay, so just off the bat, that's the first thing that you should notice. If you look at the key signature, it's supposed to be C major. Um, and that's the that's the idea. It's like we're not playing any F sharps. We're not playing any C sharps or F sharps, C sharps if you're uh, violin and viola and so forth. Um, this first part of the video, now I'm gonna focus specifically on high strings, violins and viola. So cello and bass, Check back in uh, near the end of the video. I might put a timestamp uh, in the description below. Okay, so we're going to, first of all, make sure you can see me okay. Hi. All right, so first thing we're going to do is play the first violin part. Okay, here's the E. Remember, low two. Now this part right here, do a nice little tunnel where your third finger, uh, this is measure five by the way, measure five, your third finger is already down and it's nice and tall so that the E can ring up below it. Um, violas, you should be paying close attention too because this is the exact same fingering you have, just on a lower string. Here's the first violin part. Here's the viola part. Okay, and while I'm on the subject violas, you've got the same fingerings that I just demonstrated. Here is the viola part. Open, two, one, three, open. Okay, uh, 
that's the wrong fingering, I'm sorry. Make sure I know my notes. That's the right one. See, in here, that's what's going to happen if you don't have a good tone. And you're like, I'm doing the fingerings. Why isn't the sound coming out? That's why. All right. Now to jump to the second violin part. You're going to have that low two. Helps if you do a tall tonner. up to a high two. You're the only one that has the cool part of this chord. It's gonna sound like a nice little resolution for us all. Um, that's the that's the stick with this one for you high strings. You're going to switch between high two and low two, high two, low two, high two, low two. Um, play the tennis game, right? Remember doing that? Ah, all right. So that's you guys right there. I'm going to skip ahead to measure nine now, first violin part. Okay, that's what you've got. And then, if you look at measure 11, this is a really cool um, musical moment for you guys. Uh, I might just show it to you so you can see the difference, everyone who's watching. Okay, look at measure 11 for first violins right there at the top. And then look at measure 15. Do you notice how some of those notes are exactly the same? I'm going to play measure 15. Feel free to play um, along, especially if you're first violins. Here's easy peasy, right? Two, three, two, or two, three, one, three. Okay, maybe it's not easy. It takes a little bit of practice. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm the wrong string, too. Okay, two, three, two. One, three, lots of mistakes today. Now, take a look at measure 11. A little bit off on the rhythm there. Do you notice how some of those notes are the same? In fact, um, those eighth notes that are in the middle there on beats two and beat three, um, they're just there to add a little bit extra. So I would highly recommend first violins, practice measure 15, get that down. And then 11 will come to you in like 10 minutes or less. Okay. Um, I'm not going to talk about measure 13 and 14 because it's exactly the same as the measures before then. Here's measure 17 for, uh, yeah. Here's measure 17 for first violins. Highly recommend fourth finger there. Now it says F sharp, but it's just normal first finger there, so don't worry. Low two. Now, I want you to practice these two bits. Two, two, open, two, okay? And then you're also going to go on the next string down, the A string. You're going to go double the speed. 202 on A string. Okay, so here's this again on the E string. Now go to the A string. And that's what this sounds like with just one note added in between there. Pick up to 23. One, two, three. Okay, maybe there were two notes added in between. But if you get those um, exchanges between 202 down and then add in that one extra note, it shouldn't be too bad. Again, same thing, measure 25, okay? All right, um, here is pick up to measure 27. One, two, three. And now we're gonna change key signatures. It doesn't really actually show you a change of key, but it shows you some accidentals. High two. High two. Okay, do that again with me. Ready, and. Two, three. And that's where we're gonna stop today because it's gonna change key signatures and I'd rather tackle that all another day. 
So now the rest of you high string friends, make sure that you go to Smart Music and you have them play the part for you so you know what it sounds like, okay? Now I'm gonna be moving on to the low string folks. So high strings, you can take a vacay and see you later. Low strings, follow me. Just kidding, you're gonna stay right here. I'm gonna go over here. First thing we're gonna do here is check in on the rhythm at the very beginning because we've kind of got this little trumpet call, um, little call to action right here at the beginning. Ready to clap? Right at the beginning. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, four. Okay, and that's gonna move on from right there. Make sure that you're counting along. Also, we're gonna start at the top tip of our bow because it's an up bow in measure two. One, two, three. Checking to see if you guys have anything else that I should worry about. Take a look at the pickup to measure 17. One, two, three. Your part sounds uh, very similar to that. However, let's talk about some fingering considerations that you need to have. Um, go back to pick up to 17. Let's start on that G. Okay, here's the G. Here's the F natural, right? Second finger. And then open D. G. Then you gotta play that B with second finger. You probably have figured it out a long time ago. Okay, right about here. So you get the C natural. Then shift back for the A. And open G. Two. There it is again. second finger because it's C not C sharp. Shift forward to get to the or shift sorry no shift to get to the A. But you shift to get to the C. Then one. Two. That happens again. sharps instead. Let's see, that was a four, not a one, not my mistake. Then two still for that open, or that uh, C natural. And that's that. All right. Um, if you're still watching, 
have a good one. Make sure that you practice this lots and lots. Uh, it's on smart music, so you know exactly what it's supposed to sound like. All right? Bye-bye.